coming off with everything you've got to win this game. It's a war in the trenches with 2.55 left. Up front is where this game will be won by the Grizzlies from here on out. Got to stop the kick return, and they do as the Hornets bring it out to the 25. Caleb Buson's night passing looks like this. 14 out of 25 for 134 yards and the touchdown pass to Anthony Schrock. All right, you know, we know what this offense can do. Grizzly defense has got to come out and step up now. From the 25, Hornets have it. Two timeouts left for them. This is Maslowski, good play. First down Highlander, very close. Aaron Maslowski, the ball the Referees player. asked for the clock to stop there. First down. So the clock's gonna stop. The Hornets will quickly call a play, get up on the ball to save time now. And, and Boy, if they're gonna run the football, you gotta stop them. Gotta stop them short of a first down. Run that clock. Faking the sweep one way. They go there the other go. way with it. And Josh Hamblin there to make a huge play, stopping Snook at the 35. Now with this time left on the clock, John, they don't really have time unless they're gonna break a long run. They don't have time to run the football. They got the, some timeouts left, but you're going to wind up burning them here. Clock's running right now. Jordan Richards on the stop as well with Hamlin. Second and nine from the 36, two minute offense. I would look for him to go to the air. They give to Zwick. It's a trick play, and the pass to Kinnermick complete on the hit by Caleb Dusen. That was a tremendously run trick play in which Kinnerum hands it in the sweep to Swick, and then Kinnerum runs out into the flat, wide open on the left he was, but the hit by Busen makes it incomplete. Yeah, and good pressure by Crowley too, John, and watch this. Now here's your quarterback that you're counting on to lead the drive, and he just got rocked. That's a great job by Caleb Busen, and now the... Uh, Hornets coming up with a third and nine. Got to get some minutes. pressure. And Aram, time to throw. The slant pattern run for the first down catch by Kyle Caleri, their top receiver. For a great pattern, nice slant. Grizzlies unable to get any, any kind of rush here and get the hands up in those passing lanes. Not bad coverage there by Brett Kearns, but just a good pass. Clock's running, though, with the with the moving of the chain, so Hornets still have to hurry. Ninth-ranked team in the state in Division II, undefeated, first place in the Suburban League, the Highland Hornets. Canaram dropping back. He's in trouble and sack! Josh Hamblin, his third sack of the season! They're going to have to go timeout now. They're, that sack is going to force a timeout. Huge defensive play by Josh Hamlin and a nice call by Rock Harmon. Senior night, Roger. It's senior night. Number 71 stepping it up. Great play. Great, great play now. Hornets forced to take the timeout. One minute, 28 seconds left, and the Grizzly crowd is really energized. They're fired up. It's going to bring up a second and 16. So glad you could join us for Wadsworth Grizzly football coverage here on WCTV. Great, great game tonight. You want to credit that blitz there by Rock Harmon. He set the house on that one. Our crew tonight, director Ken Buck, production assistant Sean Murphy, our camera operators Phil Dell, Joe Zavada, and Todd Constantine. And Jeff Hoffman, our assistant for our camera operator on the field. All right, here we go. Second and 16 from the 43. More pressure coming in. They try to throw it underneath the snook, but he's stopped. No, he's still going. Gets back to about the fumble, original line of fumble. scrimmage. Wads were saying fumble, but no, no, the Hornets keep it. Boy, they did not blow the whistle, and I like that, Roger. They let him play. Yep. You'd think most cases here, 
Christian. A little underneath pass yep. to Snook. And Kyle Davis doesn't make the tackle before he slowed it down. Benarum to throw, another slant to Kaleri. And the play works again for a first down to the Wadsworth 32, 37. Boy, they just keep coming up with big plays when they need them, but that Grizzly defense could really help themselves out with some pressure and another sack. So Canaram to Kaleri working on this drive for the Hornets, 45 seconds left. It's to Snook, he is hit and bounces off. Hit again, dropped at the 30. Yeah, he's the a timeout. Will continue to run. They're gonna have that run in the football here. They're, they're using up the clock, John. Coach Lombardo yelling out to Canaram what he wants to do. They're gonna run this play. 25 seconds. They lost a lot of time. Incomplete, intended for Swick. Clock stops at 19, and your tremendous kicker, Eric Duell, means nothing here because you need to get you in the end zone. You gotta get it in the end zone. So running the ball there, really, that, that ate up a, a big chunk of time. Or at least not making your calling your final timeout. Yeah. Still 90, 19 seconds left, ball. Just outside of the 30-yard line of Wadsworth. Everybody on their feet. A big sack could do it. Panarum throws, hit as he throws, and getting out of bounds at the 19-yard line is Jared Swick. That stops the clock at 13 seconds. 13 seconds left now. Time probably for a couple plays, a couple shots at the end zone. Hornets looking to keep their undefeated season going here and they'll have to do it right at the end of the game here. Canaram to throw again, looking to the middle, nothing there, up the middle is open, and he's tripped up, stop Get. at the 10, and Highland has to use He's their last, last time out. out. With 5.8 seconds left, they may have two pass plays. Than this. It does now, what a great football game, and man, Grizzlies with a chance right here. Let's see what the Highland playbook looks like here tonight. We've seen so many different looks and formations. We'll look for that slant. Looks like they got Kyle Caleri split to the left. They've had a lot of success with that slant. On second down, they're going for the fade of their own in the corner. Caleri! Touchdown, Hornets! With .4 seconds left, it looks like Highland's gonna sneak out of here with the win. Well, see the, see the replay here. A fade pass in the corner of the end zone and a great catch. Yeah, I'd like to see the replay here. I wanna see if... We'll see the replay after the kick. Eric Duell in there to make it 24-21. And he does, so doesn't matter what happened, Hornets gonna remain undefeated. On the final play, here it is. Here it is, let's see. Boy, just a great catch. That was their Kyle top Kaleri. receiver, fifth, number 15, Kyle Kaleri. He got two feet down, as you may see on the replay again. When he caught it, he had one down, took the stride for the second foot, and it is a touchdown Hornets. Yep. They're gonna, gonna get out of here with the 24-21 win. Yep. Great, great uh, game here, and the Grizzlies still will have one last shot. Here it is again. Another look, but you only need one. Yeah, and he's, foot. he's got it there and calls it in. Just an outstanding play and a nice pass there. Beautiful pass by Canaram. You got to credit him as well. So, well, now you can say the Hornets have done it all. Now under pressure, they have found a way to win the ball game. That's not four seconds on your clock, folks. Point four. So I'll just kick it short kick. here. Paladar. 
Tries to toss it back, he does, to Loudon Gordon on the right side of the field. He's looking for more room, ball game. Snook makes the final tackle of the game. The Grizzlies lose it 24-21 in a <laughs> unbelievable uh. thriller here for the final home game of the season. Highland now 8-0 overall. <laughs>